Hi, and welcome back. We are in the 2022 Tesla Model 3 Long Range. We've got update 2024.20.1. We've got new features. So there are a lot of new stuff in here. Can't wait to go over it all with you. Before I start, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help and uh, doesn't cost anything. So let's turn this around and we will go over this update. Okay, so we've got update 2024.20.1. So let me zoom in and I'm going to show you. We have now, we now have, why is that? Boy, that's having trouble focusing there. Autopilot suspension. Now this is getting, now they've given us all the details. They had mentioned this before, but they've given us all the detail. Basically, if autopilot forcibly disengages, that is considered a strikeout. When you get five of them, then you're going to be um, uh, on suspension and you're going to be, and it's any driver, by the way, and you're suspended for seven days. Now, the reason it's seven days is because every seven day period in which you do not receive a forcible uh, disengagement, you gain, you lose one strikeout is forgiven. So really the only way you're going to get um, uh, the suspension is if you get a, a, a disengagement every week for seven weeks in a row because, or for five weeks in a row, I'm sorry, because otherwise if you skip a week, it will remove one of the previous ones and you'll be okay. So it's, it doesn't look like, I mean, I don't get many dis disengagements, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Now this one, headlights adapt for curves. This is in the 2022 Model 3 Long Range. My 2021 Model 3 Long Range does not have this because they must have changed the headlights in this one. So we have to go to lights, adaptive lights. So let's do that. We're going to go to car, lights, and then adaptive headlights. It's on or by default. It's turned on by default. You can see right there. Uh, and then I don't know why she, let's see, uh, do, 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 do. Perfect. Okay. So let's go back to this. Okay, so the other thing is Beach Buggy 2 Supercharger Races. Um, oh, this means when you go to the Supercharger, you can race against other people and get fastest times on the leaderboard against other players. That's really cool. It makes it a multiplayer game against, I guess, other Teslas. That's actually really cool. I like that. Hot weather improvements. This is a good one. So this is going to make the AC cool the vehicle down much faster. Uh, and also the vehicle will regulate the battery temperature for better supercharger in, in performance. And finally, they did security updates. So important security fixes and improvements. So overall, there are some good things in this update, I think, that are important and very good. And yeah, I think it's a really good update. So yeah, I think this is an excellent update. Um, the autopilot suspension doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal because again, you'd have to go five weeks in a row getting a disengagement every single week in order to get suspended. So that's not a big deal. The adaptive headlights on the curves, very cool, nice safety feature. Uh, the multiplayer beach buggy racing too when you're at a supercharger, that's cool. I didn't know that was coming. I think that's a really cool feature. And the hot weather improvements is nice. Uh, it's getting hot here now where I am in the summer. And so that's gonna be a nice uh, benefit, you know, to have at this time of year. So that's it. A great uh, update, lots of features. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.